Hey there, welcome to Flearn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flearn.com where we make learning fun. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove power lines from any photo in Photoshop. So here's our sample image. And as you can see, it's a little bit busy with all these power lines in the background. So let's go ahead and start removing them. We're gonna do these simple ones that really aren't covering up much first, and then we'll do the more complicated ones. So to start off with, I wanna go ahead and grab my lasso tool and I'm gonna use the polygonal lasso tool. This is gonna allow me to create straight line selections. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and click over here and basically I just wanna select a little bit larger area than the power line or whatever you wanna remove. So we're gonna go ahead and click here. Now, sometimes if you're zoomed in, you can't see the rest of the image. No big deal. Just hold down the space bar and then click and drag and that's gonna allow you to pan through your image. So we're just gonna basically make a selection right around here and when you're done, you can go to the original spot and click or you can hit enter. Now we have a selection already active. Let's go to our tool that's gonna allow us to remove this automatically. It's called Content Aware Fill. To get to it, simply go to Edit and then down here to Content Aware Fill. There we go. Now, when we have the Content Aware Fill dialog, basically it's gonna show us these green areas and that's what it's gonna use to sample from your image. So it's actually pulling information from your photograph and it's gonna fill it in automatically. Now, here we have a little preview and we can see, yep, it did a great job completely removing that power line. You can change the color of the fill very easily. So if yours looks a little different from mine, that's totally okay. Now, we can also choose where we want to output this to. In this case, I'm on my background layer. So I'd like to put this on a new layer. Really easy to do. Here in our output settings, we're just gonna choose new layer. Looks great. Let's go ahead and hit okay. And there we go. On a new layer, my <laughs> power line is completely gone. Thought it was gonna be harder than that, didn't you? Well, we're just getting started. Now we're gonna remove this next cluster. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna just select all of them at once. So let's go ahead and move right over here. Again, using the lasso tool and just holding spacebar to pan over around my image. And then we're gonna do this cluster here too. So I'm gonna hold the shift key and click. That's gonna allow me to add to my selection. So now I've got two clusters of power lines selected. There we go. Let's hit enter to bring that back together again. So finalizing that selection, now we have two power line clusters selected. Now here on my background copy, let's just do the same thing. We're gonna go to edit and then down to content aware. Fill. Now, here you're gonna notice we have a new option over here on the right for sample all layers. We're gonna go ahead and give that a checkbox. So now it's gonna choose the rest of my photo to sample from, and as you can see here in the preview, it works great. I'm gonna output this to the current layer because it's already on a new layer. It's not on my background layer, we're good to go. Let's hit, hit OK, Control F Command D to deselect. And we can see super quick, all of those power lines are gone. Ooh, love it. So let's see what we can do. Now we're gonna zoom in and take care of this area as well. Same process here. So let's just grab our lasso tool. Let's make a selection over there. I'm gonna go ahead and select this, hold shift. There we go. Let's go ahead and click. And we're gonna see if we can just do this whole big cluster in one go. There we go. Coming all the way back down here. I'm just clicking as we go through. There we go and back to my original point, and we're gonna hit enter. Let's try it again. Edit, and then down to Content Aware Fill. All right, now in this case, we have a little bit of a tricky situation. Let's go ahead and zoom in and see how it did. Um, you can see, put a little point in our subject shirt on that side. The hat looks a little bit funky over there, uh, but I gotta say, for the most part, it looks pretty good. This building is totally okay with me. You know, it just filled it in with random detail, and it actually looks totally good. This building, not the best. We're just gonna clean that up after. Not a big deal. It's good to get these tools, basically get you most of the way there, and then you can kind of clean them up in a little bit. There we go. Continuing to scroll around, that building looks good. And I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. So we're gonna output this to the current layer and go ahead and hit okay. Control or command D to deselect, and we're looking great. Now, as I mentioned, yes, we have some cleanup to do because that doesn't look that great necessarily, but we're gonna just save that for the end. All right, let's go ahead and take care of these lines as well. So we've got a new tool in our tool belt. Check it out. We're gonna go to our little 
tool that looks like a band-aid with some dots around it. It's called the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Keyboard shortcut is J. Now, up here at the top, you wanna make sure your type is set to content aware, very important, and you wanna make sure sample all layers is checked. The reason I switch tools is because this area is getting a little bit more complicated, and I find that the Spot Healing Brush Tool works better when you have a complicated area, and content aware fill works better when you just have a very simple, large area you wanna cover. So here's how you use this spot healing brush tool. All you have to do is simply paint over the thing that you want gone and Photoshop will analyze the pixels that are around it. Let's get rid of that building or whatever this is on the left there too. It's gonna analyze the pixels right around it and simply fills it in with what it thinks should be there. Now, as we can see, it doesn't do great when we go over this little bokeh area. So I'm just not gonna paint over that. There we go. And the great thing about this tool is that it, it doesn't do the exact job that you want. A lot of the times I'll just paint over it again and usually it'll get it right on the second time. There we go. So we can see the majority of our work has been done for us. Now here, because I'm just on this layer, I'm gonna just put a layer mask on this layer. So let's click on our layer mask icon and I'm gonna paint black right over here because I want this little bokeh area to be visible, okay? And then now that looks pretty good except for this little area right here where it just kind of looks like a little bit of a jumble. Let's make a new layer and I'm gonna hit S for the clone stamp tool. This is going to allow me to sample areas of my photo and then I can just paint them right next to that. Just be sure up at the top where it says sample, you set current and below. It's gonna sample this layer and anything under it, which includes the background. So I'm just gonna hold Alt or Option to sample this area and then I get a little preview and I can just kind of paint it in and it just fixes that little crease or line or any areas that we need. It's basically just like copying areas from one to another. Same thing here, let's sample up there, just kind of fix this up a little bit. Didn't exactly look right. There we go and same thing down here as well. So just kind of clone stamping that away. We're gonna do the same thing with our subject shoulder. So I'm gonna just sample over here because it created a little bit of a, uh, there we go. A little bit of a weird um, bump in our subject shoulder. So we're gonna fix that up. And then here in our subject's hat, there we go. Let's just turn this layer off and on. I can actually just mask this out because in this background layer here, you can see it kind of rebuilt the hat a little bit and that's totally okay. I can just make this layer invisible. So I'm gonna click on the layer mask here, B for the brush tool, and we're gonna paint black on the layer mask just right there, and I'm just painting back the hat. And the content to wear fill did the rest of the job for me, removing that power line. Dude, here's the zoomed in version. There's our before and the after. We'll zoom out, here's the before, and the after. Big takeaways here, be sure to start off with the content aware fill tool, especially when you have large areas you need to cover and then go in, grab your spot healing brush tool for little details. And if you need some cleanup, grab that clone stamp tool and you're good to go. Don't forget you can download the sample image and PSD for free on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. Thanks again and I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.